I'm Jason Mears and this is Google Cloud VMware Engine 104. What hardware does it run on? So before we get into the details of, of the specifics of the hardware you'll find in Google Cloud VMware Engine, I probably should explain the architecture a little bit first uh, so it makes more sense. So in this diagram I've got on-prem on the left hand side and Google Cloud Platform on the right hand side and at the top of that we've got a blue um, a representation of an application which is vCenter server running in Google Cloud Platform on Google Cloud VMware Engine and underneath I've got three uh, Google servers running VMware Cloud Foundation. It's a minimum of three because we create a vSAN data store across all of them and, and three is the minimum number of nodes for a vSAN data store. So that's how I start off when I consume something in Google Cloud VMware Engine. There's an assumption that you've probably got an on-premise uh, VMware environment to connect it to. And again, I've got a vCenter server at the top and a number of hosts uh, underneath. So the first thing we would do is we would connect those two vCenters together in hybrid linked mode. And the next thing we've got um, is VMware HCX, which is doing that kind of acceleration um, of workloads. It helps with things like migration and layer two networking. But essentially, the HCX is there to accelerate the performance between the two data centers. And linked mode is a way of connecting them logically so you can manage them from one place. Um, and if you if you log into vCenter when you're using hybrid link mode, it doesn't matter which one you log into, you'll see a tree view um, that shows both data centers in the same application. So in that example, I've shown a tree view where you can see all the green stuff um, at the top and the blue stuff at the bottom, but it's just a tree view where you can expand out data centers and vCenter servers and clusters. So all we're saying here is that you log into one vCenter and see both data centers and it doesn't matter which vCenter you log into. I guess most people, if they're um, on-premise, they probably use the on-premise one, uh, but be able to see um, services across both. So that's how linked mode works and HCX at a, at a conceptual level. And of course, what you can do is you can add additional VCF nodes to it once you've started, but there is a minimum of three. So on those nodes in Google Cloud VMware Engine, you've obviously got uh, a server running vSphere AXI. We're using vSAN for the storage and NSXT for the networking and security. So you can actually run this on its own if you really wanted to. You could just have a Google, uh, sorry, a VMware data center in the cloud running on Google hardware. But for most people, the value in this is when you connect it to an existing vSphere environment and create a hybrid cloud between a between an on-premises environment and a public cloud environment. So in this example, on the right-hand side, the Google Cloud VMware Engine is also running vSAN and NSXT, and the on-prem is just running VMware-compatible storage, VMware-compatible networking, and VMware-compatible security. So you don't have to match them up at both ends. It will work. You don't have to have invested in the full VCF stack in order to be able to use Google Cloud VMware Engine. Um, but there are some advantages if you do. So on the next slide, I'll show you that if you've got vSAN at both sides and NSXT at both sides, there's obvious things you can do with storage policies and network and security policies so that those policies can follow virtual machines around. So it may be that you have a virtual machine running on-prem with a vSAN storage policy and an NSXT security um, and networking policy. And when you move it, the storage moves, the firewall rules uh, rules move, and the firewall rules get removed at the other end because it's now in a different data center. So we, we kind of wrap these policies around a virtual machine and the policies follow it around and the environment adapts to it. So I, I guess all I'm saying here is you don't have to have a full copy of VCF on premise to use it, but if you do, you'll get a lot of benefits from doing that because the policy based stuff will work seamlessly. So onto the hardware itself. So per node, and remember there's a minimum of three nodes, and if you're familiar with GCP compute and storage and networking, this is equivalent to a VE1 standard 72. So this may change, but at the time of launch, that's what it was equivalent to. So from a compute point of view, um, each node contains two processors that run at 2.6 gigahertz, and they are 36 cores and 72 threads. Each node, and again, th three of them because of uh, the vSAN, um, has got 768 gig of RAM. And the drives inside each node 
um, I again for vSAN we have two different types of drives in here we've got 19 terabytes of drives for data so that's 19.2 terabytes of raw storage that's before any kind of redundancy um, with things like mirroring or RAID or erasure coding uh, but also before anything like deduplication and compression so 19 terabytes of raw storage for storing data and then we've got 3.2 terabytes for caching so this is for write caching so it improves performance but you can't count it in the capacity calculations because we're using that capacity for, for performance not um, data storage so essentially 19 terabytes of storage um, per node and another three terabytes to improve the performance with the uh, write caching. Also in each server there are four network cards each at 25 gig each so there's a total of 100 gigs worth of networking capability in each node. So that's what you'll get um, certainly at release for the Google Cloud VMware engine per node uh, in that solution. Um, and just um, we talked about linked mode before if you've not familiar with linked mode before I do have a couple of videos on linked mode and what I've done on those videos is used the white background for one and I've used the dark mode on the other so it's a little bit more obvious when I'm in one vCenter or the other but if you just want an idea of the concepts of vMode uh, sorry linked vCenter so although this is just um, on-premise vCenter to vCenter and the one used on Google Cloud VMware Engine is the hybrid linked mode. Conceptually, they're the same. They work the same way, just a slightly different way of setting it up. So if you want to know more about linked mode, I have a, another video called VCS7 Home Lab, uh, v, v Center Server VCSA linked mode. And if you want to know more about hardware specifics, things like um, cores, hyper-threading and execution threads um, in hardware, or even things about you know various component parts of making up a server. I also have another series of videos called the history of the data center. But that's the end of the video. Just a couple of takeaways. Again, you know the kind of thing we call a elevator pitch. If somebody asks you quickly, you know what what's the takeaway points from this? What I would say is that Google Cloud VMware Engine is a three node minimum because we have to build a, a vSAN data store and that's the minimum for vSAN. Uh, we use vCenter Server in hybrid linked mode and we use VMware HCX to accelerate traffic. Uh, we will talk a little bit more about HCX in the next video. So this video was 104, what hardware does it run on? The next video is gonna be 105, storage and network options. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.